My daughter graduated. So it was a great ceremony, but now tonight is the graduation party. So we did a lot of work on the yard. I wanna show you what we did to get the yard together. It came out really nice. I'm gonna take you through it and show you everything we did to transform our yard from a disaster to a nice, beautiful sort of resort oasis. Just to recap, we had a bunch of trees cut down in our yard and it made a big mess in my garden. The first thing we did was tackle this area. We made a little bistro patio by using pavers and stones. You can click in the top right to see how we created this. Decorated it with mulch plants and rocks and after the tree workers broke a column that we had in the yard, my husband had a great idea of turning that into planters. So we planted flowers in the two halves and it made a really pretty scene around the bistro patio. Another project I did in this little area was to make a couple of light posts. I used a couple of extendable paint roller poles some nice solar lights that stick in the ground, and two pole stakes. I use this Krylon Black Spray Paint. It's paint and primer with a satin finish to paint the top part of the poles that were white and to paint some of the labels that I couldn't get off. Then I attached the stakes to the bottom of the poles so that I could push the poles into the ground. Then I removed the stake from the solar light and attached it to the top of the pole. And there I had my light pole. The rest of this area we cleaned up by adding seeding, some mulch, rocks, plants, bird feeders and bird baths. Another project I did was to create a new little bird bath. I found a hard acrylic bow in the farmer's market with this nice floral design on the bottom of it. And I used my multi-surface metallic acrylic paint to paint a colorful floral design on the bottom. I brought it outside and turned the plant stand upside down and set the bow inside to give my garden a fresh new look. And the main part of my garden that got destroyed by the tree workers, we had to do a lot of work to get everything pretty again. I redefined my islands and planted some pretty colorful flowers in my planters. I used neutral and light color seat pads and pillows to help to highlight the colorful flowers. Behind the main seating area, I framed it with a few trellises and I planted vines that will grow colorful flowers. I planted lots of flowers throughout the garden to add lots of color and to make things interesting everywhere you look. The fountain in my garden has gotten a little worn. The paint has started to chip off, so I decided to clean it up and use my metallic paint to give it new life. So I tried to match some of the colors that were already there as closely as possible and I just brushed on a new coat of blue mixed with silver and red. And I added some of those accent colors of red. And when it was finished it looked even better than when I first bought it but now with a nice metallic glow. But our favorite part of the yard has got to be this awesome patio and fire pit that we created ourselves. Click on the link in the top right so you can see how we created this fire pit slash barbecue grill and patio. Behind the fire pit area was leftover trees and weeds. 
We cleaned that area up by adding islands around groups of trees and planting flowers and adding mulch and pine straw. Since grass won't grow in my backyard, we used pine straw to cover up all the dirt and added pavers to make a path through the wooded area. We created little seated areas along the pathway. We even hung a nice big hammock between the trees. While we were cleaning up the woods, we found this big viney plant that produced these really bright yellow flowers. I looked it up and realized it was pumpkin flowers. Then I remembered that after Halloween, the kids would draw the pumpkins in the woods. And it looks like we may have a pumpkin patch this fall. So I kept it as part of the island. Now it's time to get ready for the party. We put up lots of extra seating and we hung a big banner and silver and white balloons throughout the yard. We also draped string bulb lights around the yard to light the garden at night. The party turned out great. We had lots of people who enjoyed lots of great food, which we were able to cook all on our brand new fire pit slash barbecue grill. Everyone was able to find their favorite spot in the yard and Maya had a great time celebrating with all of her friends. And finally, after all of that hard work, the boys got a chance to sit back and relax and enjoy their fire pit after all the cooking was done. Everyone got a chance to enjoy the fireplace. It was a big hit. You know, I didn't really get it at first when the boys suggested building it, but it creates such a great atmosphere for storytelling and just enjoying the company of your friends. The party went on long into the night and I think because of all the candles and tiki torches and I pre-treated the yard with off backyard pre-treat for bugs and mosquitoes, there wasn't a bug in sight. So everyone wanted to hang out all night. Congratulations, Maya. We're really enjoying your party. <laughs> we love you. We love you. We all had lots of fun wishing Maya well in her new chapter as she prepares for college. And now we can all have a beautiful and relaxing summer enjoying our new outdoor space. Now you can get our metallic acrylic craft paint and eight shimmering colors available now at amazon.com. Follow me on Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, and Snapchat at Your House of Home and Your House of Home TV for daily home, food, and gardening tips.